a housing word. Yes. I hear what you're saying, but I see something differently. So why is what you're saying and your action, why are they not, like, congruent? <laughs> mm. Why are they not consistent with each other? My Lord. And, and, and in John 13 and 25, Jesus says, By this men will know that you are my disciples my Lord. if you love one another. Mm. If you display that love, then that, that identifies you as one of his own. Amen. If you display that. Amen. So, yeah, we... We, we're identified we should be identified in the body of christ by our fruits i remember back in the old church they would say well oh she don't have the holy spirit she don't have the holy spirit she baptist she methodist or whatever and this and that but the, the ones who are saying that are gossiping back biting and stuff My they Lord. thought the holy spirit was an event <laughs> <laughs> where you would just shake and fall out speaking tongues help that was us it. lord help us but today. then i look at the baptist folks fruit you know, I know everybody got some crazy fruit. Yeah. But then I look at some of those good fruits. I'm like, wait a minute. Some of this, these are the signs of the Holy Spirit. Yes. I mean, you guys can jump and shout and speak in tongues, but some of these folks are living right. Hallelujah. I'm confused. Hallelujah. <laughs> There's a huge difference. There is. There's a huge difference. But I think the biggest part of this is, is again, a, as you alluded to, the displaying. Right. Because displaying. what you display is the most important thing. Right. You can dress up and act like whatever you want to act like. But the reality of it is you're going to display who you really are. I remember when I worked at J.C. Penney's and I was in college, I uh, worked at J.C. Penney's and we had a lady by the name of Mary Beth. She was one of the greatest is at building displays. She would build displays and she would always get compliments from the store as well as from people that came in. It also was enticing for them to want to get what she was displaying. Oh, help me, somebody. Yes. And so one of the reasons I believe that church is going to promote you and yes, exalt you in due time. My God. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. And, 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 and I want to encourage you also, don't let, don't let the, the fact that folk are not paying attention cause your heart to sour. That's right. Come on, somebody. Don't let your heart sour because they're not paying attention. Because if, if, if you don't faint, you shall reap. That's it. That's what the scripture said. If, uh, 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 if, if, if you don't faint, you're going to reap. God's going to bring it to pass. And know that God sees the work that you're doing. He's not an unjust God where well, he's not going to reward you, but he's going to reward you for the work that you're doing. I know we went off track, but I just wanted to minister to somebody right there. You got to know that you know that God knows your heart. And, and work the ministry, work the harvest. Hallelujah. That's what he saw. And I wasn't dressed apart to preach, do that. Preach, preach. Go on, do it. My God. So man, God looks at the heart, and He He judges based on the heart. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad that He sees my heart, because if He looked at me like people see me, oh, I'd be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> yeah, the stigmatisms yeah. that that people, uh, you know, look at us uh, and see, and things of that nature, will certainly disqualify us for a lot of things that we do. You know. Some would say, oh, he's not tall enough, or he's not right. this, he's not that. Light Again, skin uh, yeah, light skin, you know, or this, that, or the other. Yeah, you know, uh, he don't wear the right clothing, or he right. don't have the right attire. That That's it, right attire, that'll be it. He don't have the right attire. He don't drive the right car. He doesn't have the right financial status, this, that, or the other. But he, here, here is the reality. That's the reason why God chooses us. That's why he chose you. Oh, come on, somebody. So he, he took out all of the reasons why we could be disqualified and qualified us. <laughs> right. I mean, look at Moses. I Come mean, people are not going to hire you if you don't have good communication skills, My right? My Lord. Because in the job description, yes. they'll tell you verbal and written, right? Yes. But God chose Moses, and he couldn't talk and articulate, really. And, and God wanted him to communicate <laughs> something. He said, well, I, look, I'm going to take the excuse out of that, Moses. Yeah. I still see your heart. I want you. I'm going to get Aaron to help you. He's going to talk for you. Yeah. Who does that nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> but see, you could get somebody to, to communicate for you, 